everyone welcome to another video i'm sitting here in ross school of business i'm here with meeda and chevy we're going to talk about everything related to university of michigan ann arbor and toward the campus I have been a TA and I was being paid eighteen dollars an hour, but I was just assisting the professor, grading and taking the labs. And then I've also been uh, somebody who has been uh, a library assistant. Yeah. And over there, I was just the information at the information desk, answering queries and uh, you know doing just a documentation work. Besides that, they have these summer conference assistants. There are a lot of summer conferences taking place, yeah. and so a lot of people are uh, sorting mails. They are de they're telling people, uh, you know, where to stay, making their cards for entering the rooms, those kind of things. So, uh, got it. Yeah. And was it paying lesser than the teaching assistant job? Yeah. So these jobs, uh, the documentation kind of jobs, they pay up to fifteen dollars per okay, hour. Okay, that's still not bad. Yeah. So I think that is the minimum wage for you, Mitch. You can. They don't go yeah. beyond uh, fifteen dollars per that's hour. Good. There are like couple of other roles. Uh, like so, the RA, TA are the highest hourly paying jobs. I would say about that comes the graduate instructor ones, which I mentioned, which have tuitions waived off. But some other options like uh, dining, dorm halls. Then uh, there are like coordinator roles, like if, because there are so many clubs around, there are so many departments. You can like be a coordinator there if they have like openings. Um, there's a tech shop on campus. There are like three tech shops, I guess. So they also have employment where you can work as uh, any like the multiple roles. to work for so they like i feel because the campus is so big you at least it's not difficult to find something yeah, yeah. last month when we when i was here like you would see people clicking pictures like every corner of this whole quad so that's like very famous this so is that. beautiful yeah. yeah you still haven't gone this, inside the library inside, you, have you have to go inside yeah, but we have to be like a little quiet what you guys pay for your fees So the or does it depend on department also? I think it depends on department. I'm sure Ross is like way higher. Than yeah, the yeah. Ross is way higher, but in I think a uh, estimate for masters, like most of the students what I've heard from per semester, it's around around uh, currently it's around like twenty seven k fees. Yes. Yeah. 27 is the tuition, is the tuition. That's so the yeah. yeah that's the that's why we getting it waived off is a big deal at 100%. the same time yeah. 27k yeah it's a lot <laughs> for a public university yeah, yeah. so yeah so ross is charging 36k yeah for oh yeah for semester and uh, for the other programs it's either 20, between 25 to 27 yeah so a lot of people also look for scholarships and they are easily available i feel somewhere if you're smart with your application process and if you know what you're doing and you have work ex that really helps like in like wow. i had a uh, 35% scholarship and i have classmate who also has 100% scholarship nice. so they are uh, available yeah yeah that's a lot of tuition for sure yeah. for a public university for especially a, yes like i i know like couple of two three cases cases around me who have like Got they got like fifty percent scholarship when they were coming here, and then they were like GSA for the other two semesters, so they were like awesome. pretty much waived off the whole course. But uh, this is more likely common when you have like experience. So I came here as a fresh uh, graduate student from my undergrad, so uh, scholarship was not like that easy. And I've seen that similarly for everyone who like came as a fresh graduate. But someone who like has experience around three years or more than that, I think it's. And you know the question becomes then how you do not get a scholarship so like that's it becomes easy in that way is the brand name which comes with umesh important or you would like to have had no debt and you would go to a university where there were more opportunities in terms of assistantships i know you're still in the world she graduated <laughs> so so um i i mean brand name honestly is a good thing it's like additional it always just like sets one level of impression when you're like talking to someone when you say like oh you're from you went to u of m yeah. but that's it that's it where it ends it doesn't really do anything more than yeah. that so it's good to have um honestly i was very fascinated with the program here so when mm. in 2021 back in 2021 it ci was not like a big thing ux design product design was not that big in yeah, india it blew up so, in exactly it did now so i wanted to to go to a program where i was not like restricted to just couple of courses and back in 2021 this was the case like other admits which i had they have like fixed courses which you have to take and maybe you'll get one elective to do so but this something different about umesh is that you built your degree yourself that uh, it. and it's another thing different is uh, in other universities like commonly they have like 30 credits to graduate yeah. my degree required 48 credits and i think her requires around uh, yeah so i need 52 
fifty two yeah. credits to graduate so that and will take four semesters. Yeah, so four. minimum thirteen credits per semester, and yeah. that is not inclusive of internships that you have to do, and that is also a mandatory part of the program. So you have to find internships. <laughs> Absolutely, course, but I do feel they provide a lot of resources to guide you, and because you have all these seniors who've been through the same path, yeah. so they're willing to help you. I feel like whenever we talk to them, they're so happy to help. They'll I be know. like, "Yeah, go blue, let's help you." So they keep saying that. And I, I feel like there's a lot of difference between some universities in Midwest and some universities. Let's say there's just like somewhere I've seen where students might not help. The juniors as much mm -hmm. so I, I feel yeah I've always seen that alumni thing working out like I mean it's not important that you actually re get the result but always that first step of reaching out and like they're always very welcoming so and if I feel that legacy has been going on from a very long time so like even we graduating would do the same for the yeah. upcoming students so I think that's that's a very important thing when it comes to about you and uh, also like about that's the another thing so like seeing that they the program keeps us hooked up for like two years but then it's, it's also there that you have like a lot of opportunities like you know you can take so many courses at the same time like your degree doesn't end in like few seven or eight courses but then you get to like work and study a lot more than that yeah. and uh, other than that other than courses there are like other opportunities too like you can participate and you can do like independent study you can work with professors and all that also can account for those credits so I feel in that sense I thought the program here was very much uh, I would say I, I, I could see I would learn little more than any other university so I was you know willing to take that risk and um, yeah that's that's how I decided I know Detroit doesn't have a best rap in terms of safety how's the campus in terms of safety how how's campus plus off campus whenever you're in Ann Arbor how do you feel about are you feeling safe in general I feel in Ann Arbor we feel very safe because I mostly study in libraries and I come back at 2 a.m. at night and I'm almost traveling by bus that time and I've never felt scared so I would say Ann Arbor is definitely a very safe city yeah. and there are a lot of uh, families here you see like even graduate housing you would see people coming with families they have young kids and it's a very safe space that's awesome yeah, yeah. I think that's very important yeah like even I have you so I am a night person and there are so many night persons in general so like there are many people who like sit in libraries overnight and then come back home in the morning and Does I the university help you in terms it's of and everything? Um, so, uh, yeah like there are so there's a service called tap ride and uh, I think it's not just about you much a couple of other universities also have that yeah, right. and that runs around till 2 a.m. and all you and, and that's an application you just have to like be on campus and they will drop you anywhere off campus from that's there awesome. So that's uh, helpful and uh, other than that there are like other some safety measures as well like this TPS which is like the security one you sort of have like chances to use it three couple of times uh, and they will like drop you to your place if you call them so okay. that's there too. Have you had any of your friends who have had bad experiences in terms of safety? I think n no, not really no, in Ann Arbor. Really no, yeah. yeah. That's I think, awesome. That's yeah. so good to hear. We like, I mean, we like sometimes friends and all, we are like out till two or three in the night and still it doesn't seem bad at all. It's it's silent, but not yeah. unsafe. I think we're good here. We have, I've asked you all the questions. Do you guys have anything else to share to the future students? I would just say I think it's a great program and like Chevy said there are a lot of opportunities in terms of clubs and professors are there to support you and help you. If you're somebody who wants to do something you can just ask for it and everybody would provide you resources for it. I think it's a great school so definitely uh, go blue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, one thing I would like to add is, uh, so when it comes to UMesh and like international students, it's a really big deal when you hear the tuition fee. Yeah. <laughs> and that is yeah. something I came from too. Like I don't come from a very big, uh, like some big, big short family. So it was a big risk for me as well. But I feel that uh, the opportunity what I got was still worth taking that risk okay. because after coming here, I feel I have gained a lot more than what I would have spent at any other university okay. so in that sense and gaining in every term I mean, even in knowledge I feel I was able to gain a lot compared to I would have done at any other university because I've talked to my other friends have heard their experiences and I I've, I've always felt my experiences better so in that sense I feel yeah you like you know students can take that initial risk and think about you much when even if you like you're an international student it's okay to do that there's another thing I would like yeah. to add. So uh, while I was doing my you know, internship hunt, when I was speaking to people from other universities, they definitely told me that UMIT is one school employees really look for. Yeah. So the brand name, definitely it counts. Yeah.
Yeah. Okay. That's great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for also showing the campus around, and we'll go walk more and show you guys. Uh, you want to do it? Let's go around. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and until then, I'll see you in the next.